go to tests now the Supernova M99 Pure and this Lupina SL on my lab power supply. Let's see at what sh a voltage they start and what power they use. So I'm going to increase current. Perhaps it's better to put it here. Okay. Put it here. Right. I'm going to use 0.1 volt steps, 3.1. 3.8 it starts at 0.5 amps, so that's about 2 watts. No, wait. Uh, at 5, it's 1.6 amps. Wait a minute. It should be 1.5 amps maximum at 6 volts, but I've limited the current, so I'm going to step back a little. Now I'm going to remove the current or put current limiter at 2 amp. 2 ampere, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, 1.9. Let, let's do 1.9. All right. Oh wait, output for us. <laughs> 3.6. So it should start at 3.8. Yep. Let's see here the LEDs. There are a few yellow, orangey yellow LEDs. These LEDs are pretty annoying to look at, I have to say. As usual, Supernova does not do proper distribution of light by these small LEDs, just as in their really stupid tail lamps, but okay. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, I need to check for the resistance in the wires as well, but okay. We'll come later. Wait, 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 why is it now? Ah, wait a minute, it suddenly jumped to 1.76 amp. That's interesting. One3 at 4.5. 1.8. Ah, it's dropping now to 1.5, so that's weird. At lower voltage, it has a higher current. Let's go now to 6. Then I need to check for the voltage drop, but okay. Let's see. 1.29, 1.27 amps, so it's dropped quite a bit. I'll first I'll try some different wires. Mm, okay. to use set the voltage again lower okay output let me check if it's all okay okay yes output all right let's see what happens now one point five six
1.3 amps, 1.28 amps. It's a bit weird that it jumps up quite a bit. Let's go slightly up. Point one, six point two. Yeah, that should take care of any resistance in the wires. In any case, it uh, doesn't seem to be using. Oh wait, one point two eight amps. It says eight watts, so that's probably right. That's six plus one point eight, seven point eight. Yeah, that's close actually enough to the specifications. So it's 8 watts, specified at 8 watts. So that's okay. Okay, now to the, sup the Lupina. I'm going to try that at... Uh, put off. 3.3, yeah, that's a good start. All right. Lupina SL is now hooked up, it's for Shimano. Um, should not make some difference in how much power it takes, but more on that another time. That's a quite complicated subject. In that for certain lamps, certain manufacturers recommend direct coupling to the main battery and stuff like that. Uh, the, what kind of power is available to the lighting system depends a lot on the electronic system. Uh, Bosch, for example, the early classic versions allow, what was it, something like 3 watts, 3.4 watts. And it went up quite a lot with the more recent systems. In any case, this is for the design for 6 to 12 volts. So I'm going to see what happens now. Uh, no, I've got to switch it on first. Yeah, voltage. Red, red, yeah, everything okay. Oh, wait. Ha ha ha. It starts at a bit more than five point. Whoa. Ah, this is, has a sort of... DRL, sort of lit up DRL. It pulse, pulses. It's not completely on-off. That's interesting. But I wonder if that's legal, because se separate DRL is only allowed with a minimum surface area surface area of 25 square centimeters and that's this does not have a surface area of 25 square centimeters so i don't know what's going on here otherwise the main beam should be on which yeah it it, it just isn't okay uh what happens if i switch off cover the Aha. Uh -huh. Let's now. Or is this an indicator for low battery or something? Well, it could be. Okay, I'm going to increase the voltage. Now it's flashing. At 6 volts, flashing. Flashing quite strongly. Aha, aha, I need to cover it up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to do some something to make sure this light thinks it's night, I guess. Where is that? Oh, 
Nou, dit is weird. Uh, it switches on and off. I did not have this at all with the... Check with my battery power supply because this is weird. All right, switch off. Ah, battery power supply does the same thing. Interesting, because it does not seem that these two th little bright thingies at the rear are responsible. Oh, wait a minute, now it is. When I tried it with the other, it was... it didn't work. Ah, okay. Probably didn't put my fingers on it well enough. Okay, then I'm going to try it again on the lab power supply. with the lab power supply and this lamp using covering up these ah, I should, should use some tape but okay I'm going to use Completely steady. It's weird. Voltage. Ah, I guess there is some voltage drop. That may be too big. What the Lupina doesn't like. I need to check that. Um. Okay. So it's 6.4 watts. It's running at 1.9 amps. Uh, that is a lot. It's at the current limit there. So that means actually, which I didn't check before, that on the battery it was already running at maximum power, it seems. Or it's near maximum power. Okay, let's check. Remove the switch off. Voltage to 6. 5.8, current limiter to 2.4 amps, and I'm going to switch on. Alright, 5.8 volts, 2.1 amps, wow. Alright, switching to 6.2 volts. Uh, Ah, 
Ah, the current goes down a bit. So it regulates to about 12 watts. Alright. Let's put this a bit back. Oh wait. Ah, can't do that. Because of the cord length. Okay. I'll put the camera here. Should be able to see now. Let's see. I'm going to increase the voltage and see what happens. Seven volts, one point six. That is still, uh, yeah, no, it's eleven and a bit watts. Uh, Four point two, eleven point two, three. It drops now a bit because the lamp is getting really hot. So the current, that's why the current is dropping, I think. Eight volt. Ten volts, so that's ten point seven watts. Let's try again. I'm going up to twelve volts and just see what happens. Point eight eight. I need to take into account some losses in the cable, but it's not going to be that much. Um, so that is eight point eight, one point six, one point seven six. No, that's not. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, ten and ten point ten point. 10.5, 10.6 watts, so it's around the area of 10, 10.5 to 11.5 watts, almost independent of voltage. And that's odd because I thought it would go, it would give more power at higher voltage because the, but perhaps that's not the case for the Shimano version because this is the Shimano version of the Lupina SL. Yeah, the lamp's getting really hot. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Whoa. This is hot, man. And this is weird. There is some condensation. I don't know if you can. It's hard to see this in the lamp. That's not focusing properly. Effing hot, man. Alright, so that was the test of the power requirements or power use of these two lamps. And see my review video of the Supernova. I've not met yet made one of the Lupina SL compared to the Philips Saferide AT and the experimental uh, prototype lamp, but that comes soon.